Hey everyone, welcome back here now to perform watching the George Floyd trial against my better judgment. Let's give it up for Bronx Poet Laureate K. Bell. Today the Bronx is quiet. The street pronounces every sound from every car in a dead silence. As the rubber tires spin elegies in cursive over the asphalt. The air lynches my throat. My son is not home. I stop cooking dinner to watch the news. The guilty wears an expensive gray suit, hangs his head low enough to be six feet under, wipes his tears to let them splatter his handcuffed wrists, the same wrists that handcuffed the dead to the street, breathless, beaten, and black. When most people refer to the dead, they do not mention fathers with daughters in high school. They do not speak of grocery store trips that end in funerals. They do not acknowledge black slaughter. But what I remember most about the dead is the sound he made when he called for his mother. The same sound my son made when he fell from the swings or when sleep would not have him but dealt him a stomach ache. The sound he made when he cut his leg on the table that summer. The sound he makes when he pretends that I am God. But I cannot save black flesh from melting or erase a history of violence against the black body. I cannot undress my trauma in theatrical courtroom performances. I can't even unpack the words from the screen, unreasonable doubt, innocent until proven guilty, criminal dead, did they check for a pulse? I cannot bring this Bronx Street alive. And now I've been watching the news for too long. And the house is too quiet. The rice is burning. The cat has crawled under my feet. The Bronx is in limbo. My phone beeps an Instagram posts. I pick it up and text my son, please come home. Gosh, as a fellow mom, I felt that deeply. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, everyone. Bronx Poet Laureate K. Bell. Once again, thank you for, oh my gosh, <laughs> leaving us with those deep, profound words of motherhood and of our culture, right? Uh, once again, her latest poetry books, Cry, Sweat, Bleed, Write, and Diary of an Intercessor, are available. And Barnes and Noble bookstores and online at Amazon. And for more on K Bell, you can visit imkbell.com.